Greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, welcome to the correct views. So, how many of you have heard it? It's official. Here it is on Fox Business. Biden urges businesses mandate COVID nineteen vaccine, following full approval of the Pfizer BioNTech shot. It's even got some new name that mixes community and COVID nineteen and all these uh, little sound bites for you into one title, which they've given it. It says President Biden leaned into the new FDA licensure or full approval of the Pfizer Biotech COVID-19 vaccine on Monday, encouraging businesses to require vaccination among employees. Today I'm calling for more companies in the private sector to step up the vaccine requirements that will reach millions more people, Biden said. If you're a business leader, a nonprofit leader, a state or local leader, leader who has been waiting for full FDA approval to require vaccinations, I call on you to do that. Do that. Do what I did last month, requiring employees to get vaccinated. Well, first of all, we have an employee shortage, as it is, largely because this administration is a, a cancer to the economy. But above and beyond that, I could think of a whole lot of things that are approved by the FDA that people can't take. For instance, my mother, she was allergic to penicillin. The FDA has certainly allowed penicillin to be used. Does anybody think they have it? She can't take it. Just because something gets approved by the FDA doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's going to be able to take it. For some people, it might not be such a great idea. And for Biden to assume that it's a one-size-fits-all remedy with this vaccine, <clears throat> okay, then what about penicillin? What about many a myriad of drugs which have been okay? and which are still being used to the benefit of a lot of people. But yet can't be used by other people due to allergic reactions, due to family history, due to medical history, due to other factors of risk. Countless. I don't see how this changes anything. I mean, for instance, you've got someone like me. I have been blessed with health. As a matter of fact, and I think I speak to a lot of people when, I, when I'm when i honest like this, most of the things that I've really loved in life are gone. Almost every person who I love in my life is dead. And one in particular went gallivanting into the other end of the country. And people like me, we, we, don't, we don't come home to home-cooked meals. We don't come home to, hey, honey, how was your day? If we get sick, we're screwed. We're on our own. We're screwed. Let me ask you a question. People like me, one of the only things we really have that hasn't been destroyed is our health. So where is the benefit when you've got someone like me, if I, if the vaccine were to go badly for me, if, 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 what am I going to do? There's nobody here. What if I get COVID? Well, I can answer that. I had COVID. They pretty much told me to stay home, not to come in and get, not, not to go to the pharmacy and get checked at the time. Uh, this was in the early days of it. Not to do any of that. Told me to suffer through it. But now, I'm supposed to put my health at risk, which it does due to my family history of heart disease. Okay, my mom and dad aren't here. They died at 69. Heart disease was all over my dad's side of the family, my mom's side of the family. What would be the benefit in risking this? I don't understand. Check this out. Uh, this, this applies to it as well. A South Florida doctor staged walkout amid surge in unvaccinated COVID-19 patients. What? Why did they do it? They said it's incredibly frustrating because we know that the vaccines are safe. How? 
Can you tell me what's going to happen in 15 or 20 years? Uh, can you tell me why the messenger, the mRNA, that me that's what messenger means, can you tell me why that's not dying in some people? I mean, it's supposed to, right? The messenger's supposed to stop. Well, it didn't for someone who I know with uh, Crohn's disease. We talked about that before. What about that, if it's safe? You want to ask? Again, I'm not on here saying that it's not safe. I'm saying it's not safe for some people. Um, people go out and talk against them that really go against the physicians and medicine and science. Well, the medicine and science, all right, can anybody, and with all this medicine and science knowledge, can you go back a couple of videos to where I showed the person shaking uncontrollably? And can you tell me how that happened, if it, it, it's safe and effective? It's not a message we want to get across to people, said J.T. Sonarski, one of the doctors who participated in the walkout. Vaccines are safe, and we need to get our community vaccinated. What's that based on? What is that based on? How can you call something safe and effective for all people when you haven't studied it for all people? Doesn't make any sense. Now, if they were out here admitting that there was some kind of a risk to it, I'd be more open to listening, personally. Okay, my problem, my problem is that if you ask questions, this video will make it banned. Who knows? Because you're not allowed to ask questions. And anytime you're not allowed to ask any kind of questions at all, you know, <clears throat> you know that there's something wrong. Because with most treatments of some kind, you're encouraged to ask questions. But with this, somehow, magically, you're not. And I, I really think that people need to take a strong, strong look at that. Because I've talked to people in the medical field, and I've covered it on this show, um, and I've, I've read an article today, I forget where it was, it said it's something that we all need to do for one another. What that means is that you are supposed to put your health at risk. When you have questions about whether or not it's safe for you based on your history, you're supposed to put your health at risk for the supposed greater good of everyone else. And that's not a risk I think that anyone needs to you guys let me know in the comment lines if you agree <clears throat> excuse me if you agree if you don't agree uh let me know I, re I really would like to hear from you guys on this good night friends god bless